Hello, babies. Hello, babies. How are you? How are you? How are you? Um, my name is Siren Red, and you're watching Siren Red Tarot. And today I'm coming to you with another pick a card reading. Today's pick a card reading is going to be about. How do men view you? So I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to choose. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. How are y'all though? I hope y'all are doing well. I'm trying to figure out why this thing is still giving me limited. You two be bugging. They'll be trying to give me my coins. I'm super tired, y'all. I've been um I haven't been avoiding y'all. I just be tired, you know, like reading is so hard. Like I don't like to read any type of way. So if you know me, I, if I'm tired, I'm just not gonna read. Like, cause I feel like I'm forcing it at that point. You get what I'm saying? I'm tired. I've been so tired. Like I, it gotta be a full moon somewhere around or a shift in energy or something. But I've just been really tired lately. want more energy though i just gotta figure out how to get more energy what do you guys do when you guys uh, want more energy Do away your love letters, cause, cause it make me feel better. I don't know, Paul. I don't know why, don't know why I'm channeling that song by uh, uh, Summer Walker. Baby, you are a heartbreaker. Men see you as some type of heartbreaker. This is in the reverse. Usually I don't take reversal cards, but 
something would tell me to take to, to uh, take this one, so I'm gonna take this one. charms to see what they like about you all right so your first card out is will you choose me in this in reverse so how do men view you men view you as someone who don't care if they get picked like you're not a pick me like you're you know how um nowadays like girls like some girls like are like um they're straight feminists like they don't give a fuck that about men in general and they think they they think they can be a man they think they can do a man job they think we don't need men stuff like that you got those type of women then you got the type of women that's like um they'll do anything for a man like they just put men on this pedestal like they'll say things like you know uh men are superior to women and if we didn't have men we wouldn't have this and we wouldn't have that and we need to be better to men and all this other shit right so you have this so it's not and those are called pick me's right so Men do not see you as either type of those women. They don't see you as somebody who hates men, but you off. They also don't see you as somebody who's a pygmy, who's like, oh well, if I put him on a pedestal, if I tell him he's the most perfect thing in the world and stuff like that, no matter what he does to me, I'm, he's going to like me. Because the thing about it that pygmies don't understand, real men, real men know they ain't shit. <laughs> like, real like real masculine men the men the type of men they try to get picked by know that they're not shit and they do not want a pushover they do not want a liar you get what i'm saying they don't want to push over they don't want to liar a real man wants to be the very best he can possibly be and he knows that he can only do that if he's held to a certain standard you get what i'm saying the most successful men their wives are not pick me's their wives are not pick me's People think that, but their wives are not pygmies. And a lot of them respect their wives. You get what I'm saying? Depending on the type of guy he is, a lot of them really respect their wives. So that's not the energy that men find attractive. You get what I'm saying? For some, for some reason, some girls feel like if I do backflips for them and, and do um, tricks, you know, he'll he'll fall on you, but that's not the case. So what men view, how men view you is you're not somebody who's a pick me. Like if you get picked, you get picked, but if you don't get picked, you you're still okay with that too. Like you're not somebody who does not want to get picked. Of course you want to get picked, but you're not like you're not like um you're you're cool either way. Well, I want you to choose your cool either way. So you're like if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, what's meant to be is, is to be. attractive because it's like it's a challenge not only is it a challenge because i don't think that you go out your way to like make men chase you either but it's just a, it's like a breath of fresh air you get what i'm saying it's like people want to want what they can't have people going to uh, men are going to respect what they have to put in work for because they know if they have to put in work for it, other men have to put in work for it too so it's not easy to get now if you're a pick me and stuff like this which you're not then they know that if you're a pick me for me you're a pick me for anybody you get what i'm saying like you don't have no standards you'll just take anybody who takes you so if there's a, a man that's better than me or perceived seems to be better than me or you perceive to be better than me at the moment comes along you're liable to leave me because you're desperate anyway you get what i'm saying so that's why this, that really doesn't work out for um for pick me's so uh how many view is somebody who is uh good either way whether you have a man or whether you don't have a man i can't even look at you right now 
what how men perceive you is somebody who's living their own life like you're living your own life you have your own goals you have your own dreams you have your own accomplishments now while you have that the interesting thing about this is you're not one to be like oh well since i have i have this i, I drive i drive a porsche and i live in a penthouse and i have this type of money i have that type of money right I'm better than men. I'm better than you as a man. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm better than you. Like, you're not using it as competition. You just happen to have it. So men think that's highly attractive. Like, you're not. Because you can have all those things and not be somebody who wants to bash men. Not be somebody who cares to talk trash about men. You're just a, a female who just on her shit. You get what I'm saying? And people, uh, men find that highly attractive about you. Um, lastly, you have out... I miss you, do you? So what men find attractive about you, well, not even just attractive, what they think about you, is that you're kind of hard to get. Like, they can't really tell if they if they have you or not. They can't really tell if you like them or not. You get what I'm saying? So that's kind of intriguing to them, and it kind of makes them want to trace more. It pulls that masculine energy out of them, and because a lot of women put themselves in a masculine position and start chasing the man, which causes him to act feminine and, like, draw back from them and do all, like, you know, do all that stuff that we say give us the because you're putting him in his feminine because you're chasing him now when you when you require a man to chase you to do all the work and stuff like that that's putting in him that's putting him in his masculine energy which is going to make him more attracted to you and that's what you do even by default but i don't even think that i don't even think it's something strategic that you're doing i just think that you're just that's how that's the standard that you hold yourself to and the and the standard that you hold men who are going to be in your life to so they just have like if they ask you that they go act like that they either don't act masculine or they're not gonna have you you get what i'm saying so that's very intriguing to them they it, it helps them it, it helps them feel like a man you you help men feel like a man if that makes sense so let's see what they like about you can i get some charm to see what men like about phone number one so you have an angel you guys probably got like a, a angel face or like a young looking face very innocent music you guys can either dance or you guys either dance or have like good taste in music and stuff like that like you might post music or like if they're in the car with you and they ask you to turn on like your favorite song or a song you listen to is always like something cool stardom like uh you have a star so when i picked it up i heard stardom so like you might get a lot of attention when you go out an apple this reminded me of a teacher i gotta wash these charms they still got the smoke on it from when my my uh my fucking uh desk caught on fire but this apple reminds me of a teacher, so you're very smart, very intelligent, sexy, sexy. So they think that you're very sexy, like like a cat. Like like you know how cats are always stretching and like how they walk like with the little like sexy straw. Like what you know like uh, it's giving like cat woman cat. You get what I'm saying? Like uh, the Holly Berry cat woman. Like it's giving that type of energy. They find you attractive in that way. You have music again, music taste. You have key. So if it, it feels like it's you're hard to unlock but once you unlock you in there right then it's like loyal loyalty so um with this uh tree i've heard loyalty so they feel like the men that are in your life or get to be in your life they know that they're there to stay they know that you're very loyal uh you have turtle so you're not really fast moving like you take your time with things you take your time getting to know people and then you have this fish you might get for those of you guys who have have had intimate relationships with men they do they i'm not saying you smell like fish at all but i'm getting like wet like a fish you feel what i'm saying you feel what i'm saying and then you have cat again so that sexy strut that sexy walk yeah that's cute though you know like it's giving like femi fatale femi fatale but anyway that is your reading baby i hope that it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a person to me in that information description box below right now i am doing 14 dollar readings so same day readings for 14 14 so if you're interested in that down in the description box below it will be ending at the end of february so make sure you get um uh, make sure you go ahead and get that get your um reading if not then yes the uh the um my prices are going back to 25 dollars a reading per my, my prices will be 25 dollars per reading i think it'll be like maybe 27 and some change because I, it takes a fee out but it's going back up to 25 uh it's going back up to 25 um dollars a reading and i'll probably only be doing five readings a week so you want to make sure you get your reading your uh your reading right now because i'm only gonna be doing five a week if you're not in the patreon all right but yeah so with that being said that is your reading baby i hope that it resonates if it did please let me know and i'll see you guys in the next reading bye
Okay. Let's see what do men think about my pile number two. You have quiet your mind. Meditate on the answer. What do men think about my pile number two? Choose faith over fear. I love these cards. They're so pretty. I am ambitious and motivated. And then we're going to get what they like about you. So what do men think about you? Pile number two. So what I'm seeing here for what men think about you. I feel like men think you're pretty quiet. Men men can't really men can't really tell what you're thinking. Like you a type of hurt a female that you really can't tell what you're thinking. type of man a certain type of men that they can't really uh tell what you're thinking because and i think this because like usually i feel like and i'm not i'm not um talking bad about women because i am a woman so before you get in the comments saying all this crazy stuff understand i am a woman but um what is given is like it feels like it's not that it's not it's not it's not that women are all the same or whatever, but like usually women, like men, okay, so yeah, men, okay, so yeah, we like to think men are dumb. I will, I like to say men don't have common sense, but men are very smart. They're very visual because that they are by nature because again, they were created to protect. So when you have to be a protector, you have to be very visual. You have to be able to read body language. You have to be able to read people. If you ever like had a situation and you couldn't figure out why somebody acted the way you did, if you have a male friend that actually cares to tell you the truth, they will tell you and break down exactly what happened and why it happened and how and what the signs were before they did it. So men are very, are very like smart and very visual creatures like they can okay so anyway like i was saying my camera kind of cut off hopefully it lets me um paste my videos together so i'm gonna make these a little bit quicker um make these a little bit quick but anyway like i was saying so how do men see my pile number two so how do men see my pile number two what they what how men how men see you as somebody who they really can't they don't really know too much about you but it's by choice. Like you are the reason why they really don't know too much about you. Like you probably, you probably listen more than you speak. You definitely probably a sprinkle sprinkle girl. If you know, you know. Um, because if you know, you are, if I, if I'm correct, which I am, you are. You know what sprinkle sprinkle mean. But I feel like you know sprinkle sprinkle or witch too. That's crazy, right? But anywho, and they, and everybody bypassed that. I'm sorry, but I'm just saying like everyone bypasses that. They're like, oh, we want to be sprinkle sprinkle so much. Sprinkle Sprinkle's a witch, but um, but y'all always talk about me and Doja Cat. Sprinkle Sprinkle's a witch. <laughs> so, like, that's all I got to say. But anywho, like I was saying, uh, anywho, like I was saying, um, anything like I was saying, um, they can't really tell what you're thinking, because I think that you, you, you think more than you speak. Like, you're not somebody to, like, pour all the emotions out and stuff like that. Like, even if you do feel emotional about something, like, they wouldn't know it. You get what I'm saying? Whereas most women, they wear the emotions on their sleeves. 
they are like they react to every single thing a man does they put their value in what a man thinks of what it like you know like and, and you'll be surprised because i thought every woman was confident like i thought every woman really didn't give a fuck about these niggas you know what I'm i really did that but it's, it's not like that honestly there's a lot of women who are insecure and who chase men and and put men on a pedestal because they got this and they got that not realizing that's why the man treat you any kind of way because he think he know that he can if you take a nigga off the pedestal and let them know they can't t they can't play with you they're not going to play with you you get what i'm saying so there's that you know, but with you it's like they can't really tell what you're thinking meditate to find the answer they feel like you're always they feel like you may be like intuitive or something like that because it's kind of like you you know everything before like you, like they can't really do nothing around you like the men think they can't get away with nothing around you because you automatically somehow know what they did or know what their know what their intentions are and i i think some of you guys are intuitive again every, mostly everybody is intuitive but i feel like the real the real um thing here is not really so much about you being intuitive it's not so much about you being a psychic where more so it's more that you tend to be more observant than you do to speak so when you are somebody who's more observant like you can you can tell you can tell a lot about a person just by observing them observing them observing them right so you um and usually that's a masculine thing like most women they don't they go by words or whatever they go by words and stuff like that where men go by actions right you've learned to go by actions think like a man like woman you've learned <laughs> that was funny but you've learned to go by someone's actions not um rather than what they say like a man would so that's why it's hard for a man to really get one up on you because you think like him in the first place you know to go by his actions not by his words right so because they always say women fall in love by words men fall in love by actions so there's that right so then you have choose uh choose faith over fear so what how how many do you is someone who is not afraid like you not to say you don't need help because i feel like we all need help and i don't but i'm not gonna lie you don't really give damage you in distress you need to if you want to start getting some help around this motherfucker because that's what i'll be doing damage you in distress and based on how he responded that he either gonna help you or he gonna be like, oh i don't know what you're gonna do if he talk why he don't know what you're gonna do then that's not your man <laughs> you get what i'm saying or you better just keep him as a side or something like you get what i'm saying but for the most part For the most part, um, they see that you don't really have any, like you have more faith than you have fear. So even if things are not working out or not going your way, like you're not one to be like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do or just start panicking. You're one to more figure it out. So hence goes into your last card which is i am ambition and i am motivated so how many of you is somebody who having their own dreams and wishes and things like that and someone who is willing to make them come true for themselves if they have to so but yeah but you're not i feel like um but you're not loud about it you're not like in a competition with no men that like trying to prove that you're true something to somebody you kind of just you like real chill like men to you are somebody who's real chill like real chill and confident so let's see what they like about you so your first card out was the peace card so i think because you are so quiet and stuff like that ten, men tend to think that you're more peaceful honestly the crazy the quiet ones be the crazy ones they just don't know that right then you have the seahorse so again back to like what i was saying about um you got like they like they, they like your arch they like your arch you somebody some of you guys may have like a really good like really crazy arch in your back or whatever or the way you walk which lets them know that you probably took that thing up if those of you who had sex with them they uh they know they like your arch then you have a dog paw so loyalty that's giving loyalty a butterfly they think that you're very beautiful but like an ariana grande a janae Iko like type of beauty like a, a coco jones type of beauty not necessarily like a um like a Megan Thee Stallion or a Carly B beauty, like a very subtle, like girly girl, beauty, pretty, right? Then you have uh, wings. They think that you're a quick thinker. So for me, this is giving fast. I thought of like the sneakers that have like this wing on it. I think it's the Air Jordans or whatever, but like for me, it's giving fast, but they like, they say you think fast. Like you think fast, you think on your feet. Then you have angel. Um, again, you have like an angel face, angelic, um, nature about you cat they find you to be very sexy with that arch night owl somebody who who's up at night so you guys might be up at night like or up at late hours of the night you guys might work a lot 
then you have fruit they see you to be as somebody who is very sweet when you do talk and then you have a pumpkin so again like very sweet very very sweet very cute but you know when you when they do get you to talk but other than that you kind of stick to yourself but yeah so that's what i uh, have for you pile number two i hope it resonates if it did please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel with the post notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a personal reading that information description box below if you're interested into my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below i'll be choosing the next winner on march 1st um if you're interested in getting a personal reading my my prices will be going back up to 25 dollars per reading uh will be a little over 25 dollars, so maybe like 27 because they take a couple dollars out per reading so if you want to get a same day reading right now the the um if you want to get a same day reading i will get it right now for they are 14 dollars and 14 cents so you might want to get that right now all that information in the link in the description box below or join my patreon which is 3.99 a month you can see all my freaky fridays okay so let's see what we got here for pile number um let's see what we got here for pile number How do men view my power number threes? How do men view my power number threes? Let me view my power number threes. view my pile number three so out of all my piles like a lot of my piles men were viewing y'all as sweet men were viewing y'all as somebody who is like um like a sweetheart you know what i'm saying this is my only pile where men are like that bitch <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like men are like um Men feel like you can't be trusted. Men feel like you cannot be trusted. And they stand on this decision. 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 Men feel like you cannot be trusted because... They feel like you, it's that, you make them feel small. You might attract a lot of like younger men for some reason, but like either or like you kind of got an old soul and they feel like you're two steps ahead of them. Like they feel like you're always two steps ahead of them. Not in the same way of like you just being a smart girl. Like you might know a lot about money or you might know a lot about this, might know a lot about that. But in the sense of like, in the sense of, like, you ever heard of Whole Tactics? Read the book Whole Tactics? If you haven't read that book, because it's like, it's given like in that type of re regards. Like, very, like, you, like, you're able to outsmart a man. They also think you move on very fast. <laughs> they think you move on very fast. So it's like, if one doesn't have something to offer, you're on, you're on to the next man that does have something to offer. If he doesn't have something to offer, you're on to the next man, to the next man, to the next man. Not necessarily that you sleep with all of them, but that you cut them off very fast and you move on very fast. You're not somebody who gives a lot of second chances. But in, uh, what's crazy is, like, you leave all these guys open. It's like, you're not somebody who gives second chances or whatever. 
but like when you the time you leave them but you're also not the type to explain why you leave and you just like oh i don't like you no more bye when the whole time is like oh like maybe you don't like the way they they think about a certain subject instead of telling them that you just did because i don't think that you feel like you i don't feel like i don't think that you feel like you want to change anyone you just want who's for you so that's why you just you know you get to know them you get them all open and stuff get them all comfortable get them talking and stuff like that and and I don't think you purposely do this, but it just it just happens. But you get them because men are very comfortable talking to you and telling you know about telling you about their life, telling you about how they feel, things they want about that. They're very comfortable pouring like talking to you, pouring their heart out, right? And they they feel like when they start to get close to you, that's when you like kind of dip. But I don't think that it's more so that you that you dip because they got close to you. That's that's what they're perceiving it to be. I feel like you dip because you fit you um you see how they thought you wouldn't like it like for for example i hope you don't see this but it's this one guy that i um that i've been talking to recently and i do enjoy talking to him and i tell you about like the happy about y'all i don't like him and everything but the thing with him is like certain subjects and topics that he talks about it tells me a lot about him it tells me that he's a little bit selfish it tells me that he's probably not a spoiler and i like i like spoilers i like tricks and my husband has to be a trick i don't know what he got going on or why he the fuck came over here thinking he's not from the trick but it's like certain things that we talk about it makes me think like how am i going to am i going to be attracted to you long term am i going to you know things like that and i and I, honestly i do like him but if i find someone else who has more, the same traits but does other things that i like i'm probably going to just stop talking to him and i may not tell him why like i may forget to tell him why because i may be wrapped up in the other guy not to say that's what i want to do not to say that's what's going to happen but i'm saying it's a possibility that it could so now i feel like that's kind of what happens it's like you don't try to force change on anyone you just take them how it is and a lot of times they don't have what you need so you just kind of move on so but they see you as being some type of a player and moving on fast um what men like about you is like they feel like they can grow with you like you give definitely wife vibes key what men like about you is the fact that you get them to open up and they feel comfortable speaking to you you're very then you get this peace on you're very peaceful so you're not like a nagger like that's why i said like they think you're very peaceful because a lot of women nag and try to make a man something that he not because they want that man not realizing you had to take people for what they are but you kind of keep the peace only because you don't care to do that so there's no nagging and stuff like that so that's why they think that you're peaceful but you will turn up if you need to <laughs> then beauty then they think you're so beautiful like a butterfly i think you're really cool and laid back with the guitar you have an, a good heart. They know you're pure of heart and your intentions are good. And then the lock. They You make them want to settle down. But yeah, so that is what men think about you and that is what men like about you. And I hope that this you enjoyed this video and I hope it resonated. If it did, please let me know. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.